Have you ever used your car's auto park feature and, well, just ended up grabbing the wheel because it was giving you a heart attack? Yeah, me too. A brand new Tesla patent just dropped and it might be the reason that anxiety becomes a thing of the past. It lays out a totally new AI system that promises to nail even the trickiest parking spots with insane precision. And get this, it does it all with just its cameras. Let's dig in and see how it works. First, let's just be honest about Auto Park in general. For years, the feature has felt kind of clumsy, right? It does that awkward shuffle, gets way too close to the curb, or sometimes it just gives up and tells you to take over. You are definitely not alone if you've been holding your breath while using it. So why is this one simple maneuver so ridiculously hard for some of the most advanced cars on the planet to get right? While the thing is, parking is actually a surprisingly tough robotics problem. It needs a super duper accurate, high fidelity 3D map of everything happening right next to the car. And that's where traditional systems fall short. They just can't see the really fine details, like the exact height of a curb, a faded painted line, or some weirdly shaped pillar in a garage. A lot of companies try to fix this by just throwing expensive sensors like LiDAR at the problem. But Tesla, they're betting they can solve it with smarter software, not pricier hardware. And that is the absolute core of this patent. Tesla has found a new way for the car to truly see. It's a method for building an incredibly dense and detailed 3D world using nothing more than the flat 2D images from the cameras it already has. Okay, check out this transformation. On the left, that's the raw data coming in. Eight separate flat 2D camera feeds. You can see they're all fragmented, right? Each one is just a little piece of the puzzle. But then on the right, that's what the AI turns it all into. A single unified 3D space. The system literally stitches reality back together. So the big question is, how on earth does it do that? The secret sauce here is a technique called signed distance fields, or SDF for short. Now, forget the old way of just knowing if a space is empty or full. SDF is way more sophisticated. For any single point in space around the car, the AI calculates the exact distance to the surface of the nearest object. The patent uses a great analogy. Think of it like a super high-tech game of hot and cold, where the car's brain knows exactly how far away it is from everything, in every direction, down to the centimeter. Here's a really cool way to picture this. Imagine a shadow puppet theater. But instead of one light source, you have eight, all shining on the puppet from different angles. By looking at how all eight of those different shadows overlap and combine, you could figure out the puppet's exact 3D shape, right? Well, in this case, Tesla's eight cameras are the lights, and the AI is the artist that rebuilds the 3D world from all their combined shadows. Pretty clever. So, what does this data actually look like to the AI? This grid from the patent gives us a little peek. See the negative numbers there in the middle? That means you are inside an object. The positive numbers all around it mean you're in open, empty space. And that critical zero line that separates them, that represents the object's exact surface. It's this continuous data that lets the AI create perfectly smooth shapes. This is a massive leap in technology. It's basically the difference between seeing the world in Lego bricks versus seeing it sculpted from clay. The old method, which used something called voxel grids, was super blocky and low res. It was just a 3D pixel that was either on or off but this new SDF method gives the car continuous data, creating these smooth, high-fidelity surfaces that make sub-centimeter accuracy possible. And just look at the difference this makes. It's, it's staggering. On the left, that's the world seen through the old, blocky voxel system. On the right, using the exact same camera data is the SDF reconstruction. It is so high fidelity, you can literally read the word stop painted on the pavement. This level of detail is a complete and total game changer. And that brings us to what might be the killer app for this tech, actually seeing paint. You know those little ultrasonic sensors on most cars, the ones that beep when you get close to something? They're completely blind to painted lines. They can see a concrete wall just fine, but the painted line that marks your parking spot, to them, it doesn't exist. That has been a massive blind spot for automated systems forever. But this new AI is different. It's not just programmed to look for straight white lines. It understands paint on a much deeper level as a property of the road surface itself. And that means it can identify any painted shape, a handicapped symbol, the words no parking, a fire lane marker, you name it. Okay, so we have this incredibly powerful new way for the car to see the world. But what does that actually mean for you, the driver? How does this translate into a better parking experience? Let's walk through how the patent says this whole perfected process is going to work. It all comes down to a really simple four-step process. 
All that crazy complex tech we just talked about gets turned into a totally effortless experience. Let's see how it plays out. So here's the first big change. Instead of you driving around hunting for a spot, the car is constantly hunting for you. As you drive through a parking lot, its brain is proactively spotting every single viable parking option in real time. It's basically building a menu of choices for you before you even stop the car. Next up, those options pop up on your screen. But here's the cool part. It's not just a dumb list. The system actually scores them for you, telling you how confident it is. It's analyzing the angle, the amount of space, how close other cars are, and basically telling you, hey, this one over here is super easy, but that one might be a little tight. It's like having an intelligent co-pilot, not just a passive feature. And step three is where it all clicks into place. Remember all that complicated 3D mapping and SDF stuff we were just talking about? It all boils down to this moment. You see the choices the car has found, you make the final call, and you just tap the screen. That's it. All that processing power is turned into one simple, effortless action. And then, the magic moment. The car takes over. And this is where that high-fidelity SDF map really pays off. The car isn't guessing anymore. It's navigating a world that it understands down to the last centimeter, gliding perfectly and smoothly into the space. This is the promise of the technology finally delivered. A flawless park every single time. Now, a seamless parking experience is an awesome feature for a driver, no doubt. But the real story here, especially from an investor's perspective, is the strategic implication. This patent isn't just about parking. It's about the entire future of autonomous driving. See, this vision-only approach creates a huge strategic advantage on four different fronts. First off, cost. By getting rid of expensive LiDAR and radar, you slash the cost of building the car. Second, scale. It's all software, which means any improvements can be sent out to the entire fleet of cars with an overnight update. Third, you get better data. Cameras gather way richer and more detailed info than other sensors. And finally, this is a true AI approach. You're solving a hard problem with pure intelligence, not just by bolting on more expensive hardware. So let's be crystal clear. This patent is not just about making parking easier. Mastering the incredible complexity of parking, of close quarters maneuvering with this kind of precision, using only cameras, is a fundamental building block for a cost-effective, scalable, vision-only, full self-driving system. To put it really simply, you have to solve parking before you can truly solve driving. So, we've just seen how simple cameras, when they're powered by the right kind of AI, can learn to see and understand 3D space in a way that rivals expensive, specialized hardware. If this approach can master the intricate little dance of parking, it really makes you wonder, what's the next impossible problem that vision-based AI is going to solve? Something to think about. Thanks for joining me for this breakdown.